Hello folks, Tamara here with Miners Leisure World. Today I'm going to walk you through the 2023 Reflection 303 RLS. RL standing for rear living, probably one of the more popular layouts for our couples. Alrighty, so as you can see, nice white exterior. <coughs> Pardon me. This unit comes from our grand design manufacturer. So these guys do a really wonderful job. They do extra uh, warranties from manufacturer, uh, decals, tires, chassis. Ask us all about that when you come in. This unit is also equipped with 370 watt solar panel. So you have a really nice big fridge and extra solar power up there. So this door is really heavy, <laughs> thickly insulated, slam latches here, and then it does magnetize up onto the wall here. So check out this underbelly storage down here. Uh, Grand Design boasts heated and enclosed underbellies. There is also forced air heat into the underbelly here. So all of your goodies are gonna be protected if you go on a big road trip into different weather. So as you guys can probably see from this angle, we've got two awnings on this unit. Both of them will have the LED strip lights in it. So your campsite's gonna be lit up nice and bright. Outdoor speakers on the main area here and tons of campsite windows on the side. Alrighty, on the rear of the trailer, we do have a mounted ladder. These are fully walkable roofs and slides, you guys. So you're gonna be able to get up there, check your seals often, Sweet. backup camera prep. So we do sell those in house. We'll tell you a little bit more about them. It's a couple different size screens. Uh, nice big rear window here. We talked about that rear living and it also comes with a receiving hitch. You can haul up to 3000 pounds. So if you want to take a little boat or maybe an extra little vehicle with you, that's possible as well. Okay. I am on park side where all your components are located here. So they do a really great job of labeling their component center here. It's really straightforward. Two gray tanks on this unit, one black tank. We've got a hot and cold shower. We've got all your water hookups here. Your hoses are all going to come down or come up through here. Pardon me. Auto level is also located down here. If you want to give us a little zoom in on that, just right there on the back wall there, you guys, all you got to do is push a couple buttons. It'll be set up in no time. Alrighty, into the 2023 Reflection 303 RLS. Beautiful trailer. So we've got three slides in this unit, opposing slides in your main living area. And we have a wardrobe slide up here in the bedroom, which I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to start right here where we typically do you guys. Here's your component center. So cleanly finished, obviously. Lots of easy button slide, one side, two side, three. And once again, we've got two awnings so that each have their own separate button there. Checking your tank levels. And then here's your battery charge from your solar charge controller. Trailer is coming in just shy of 10,000 pounds. You're gonna need a bit more than a half ton to haul it, but there's good reason for that. So um, in this version, they do the solid surface countertop. So this is kind of some of the luxuries you get when you jump up a little bit of a size. One of them being this, the next one being that really big fridge you guys are looking at over there. So. Um, in 2023, Reflection did some major updating. Uh, they look amazing. They look even better in person. So come down, check them out. Uh, but they have this really nice finished backsplash back here. Smoked glass on the cupboard doors. Tons of storage in here, you guys. These are solid wood cabinet doors as well. So really top of the line finishes. Or charging station right here. So USB plug in, slide your phones or iPads or anything up there, get them out of the way. The hutch is great. You can use it for slow cookers, coffee, whatever you kind of want to set up there. Tons of drawers and the reflections as well. Oh, comes with a tire pressure monitor too, which they usually leave in the freezer. I don't know why they put it in the drawer this time, but uh, nice big drawers here and then drawers on the side as well. So you can never get enough drawers in a camper kitchen. Okay, let's swing over here. Great big stainless steel 12 volt refrigerator. So that huge solar package up on the roof there is going to help charge your battery, which in turn is gonna run your fridge. It will also run off electric. Uh, but no propane option, which you've heard us say a few times now. So we can explain that a little bit more if you guys come visit us. But tons of space in here. Lots of room for food. Okay, I'm going to make my way down here to the stove top. So they did two separate units in here. You've got the oven down here. It's a nice size. And you've got the three burner cooktop up here with a little window right behind there for some ventilation. Really large microwave, uh, residential size in here. And then you've got cabinet for a little bit of storage beside. You don't need a ton of storage over here because you got the big pantry. I'm going to show you right away, but you have a little spice rack if you need. Drawer for some utensils beside the stove top and some more storage underneath. Probably one of my favorite things in this trailer is the pantry here. So we've got that smoked glass finish again. We've got lift shelving. It's nice and deep, you guys. Basically half as long as my fingers here. So your cover or your cans and your stuff is not going to be sliding around when you're traveling. Don't stack it up. Let's uh Let's use our smarts about it, but um, it's gonna stay nice and safe. You do have space here to pop a broom in there as well. I know that that's sometimes a, 
a concern with some customers. So you are going to be able to put the broom in there, tuck it away out of sight. On the finishes of the island, they did kind of a dark charcoal gray to contrast with the lighter wood over here. And it looks phenomenal. So these guys, nice big drawers. You've got cutlery, you've got dishcloths, you've got anything extra. And then right underneath here, if you can see tons of open space. So personally, I'm throwing some shelving in there um, for my cleaning products and a nice size garbage can over here. Still doing the solid surface up here on the island. I'm gonna show you the sink. I just love these. One single basin here. Really nice and large stainless steel. Got your pull-up faucet with your spray option here as well. Alrighty, so fireplace right off the bat. I love these because we can change the colors just like that. You can turn the heat on, you can turn it off. It's on right now, it's warm, but you can turn that off. Just set the light so it's on there. Decent sized TV here. I mean, we're camping, we're not spending a ton of time in there, but if you do want to pop in and watch a movie, you've got lots of room. Nice deep storage on each side. And then right here in the middle, is your radio and your built-in DVD player. So you're gonna have Bluetooth capabilities, um, USB, auxiliary cord, all that stuff located right here. So you're gonna be able to hook up whatever music you guys choose to listen to. And then right here, we are at the rear of the trailer in case you guys got flipped around a little bit. This is going to be a tri-fold sofa. So this is a couple's coach, but if you need an extra spot to sleep, some friends or maybe the kids or somebody tags along for a night, you do have room here on the bed. You've got storage on each side. These little cubbies open here, nice and deep all the way to the back. And then there's plugins on each side. So if someone's got to charge some, their phone while they're sitting here having a visit, really easy to do. Nice big light switch up here for the accent lighting as well. Still solid wood cabinet doors. You guys are going to love the luxury of this. A nice deep cabinet all the way through. There's no stopping. We've got a nice big long crib board or we like to play a horse race game myself. So we will have room to store it up there. Into the theater seats. These are awesome too. We've got lights, we've got heat and massage. Lots of fun buttons to push all the different lights. And then we also have the recline. So like I said, if you wanna pop a squat, watch a movie, you can do it in luxury. Okay, freestanding table option. This is an ottoman here. It does pop out nicely. It does open for storage. So we're a blanket family ourselves. You can store some stuff in there so you can cuddle in for the movie. This will pop off the back, you guys nice and easy you could move another one of those chairs if it's just the two of you gives you a little bit more elbow room when you're cutting those stakes and then we are surrounded by windows in here as you guys can see i want to point out the floor here too really quick uh, seamless transition here there's no carpet in the main living area so feels nice and open no tripping hazards anything like that and there's also no ductwork in the floor of this the ac is all vented throughout the roof and then you've got your heat ducts popped up on the cupboard so really nice and easy to clean save some soft spots too once your trailer starts to age okay i'm in the washroom and i'm on the other side and i'm going to show you right away but we've got that porcelain foot flush toilet we've got cabinetry storage <laughs> and a towel rod we've got the shower here i'm going to show you how this opens i don't usually get to come into the bathrooms because we run out of a little bit of room but this opens nice and wide here they did add this little cubby in here for some little bit of storage in there as well I'll talk about this in a minute, but I'm going to show you the counter space here. We've got a really nice white sink here, nice and large storage underneath. So we got room for a garbage can and some toilet paper. And then we've got medicine cabinet storage up here too. So this unit you're seeing right behind me is the slide. So this is our third slide. This has, you could use this for bathroom storage if you wanted. You got a couple other doors back here. Okay, coming into the master. This is a queen. It is a residential sized queen, not the RV queen. Grand Design does not offer that, so they do the full residential size. Uh, we've got step ups beside the bed, but that's okay. You're just crawling into bed and getting in there. Lots of lighting options in here as well. So we've got these little lights down here, you guys. So those lights, we've got reading lights and whatnot up here. Each side has their own. And oh, I'm 5'9", standing up in here. And we also have storage back here as well. You don't have hanging storage beside the bed on this unit because you have the slide with the hanging storage. They did a couple drawers over there for some dresser storage too. In here, you've also got a window back there and you've got a window over here. So you're going to get a really nice cross breeze and then your AC is ducted into the bedroom as well. Alrighty, folks. Once again, I am Tamara. Thank you for joining me on the tour of the 2023 Reflection 303 RLS. If you want to see this or anything else we have to offer, check us out at modernleisureworld.com.